Barring last-minute change, the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, SANU, may shut down universities tomorrow over the non-payment of four months with health salaries by the government. Recall that a fortnight ago, the Joint Action Committee, JAC, comprising SANU and the Non-Academic Staff Union of Education and Associated Institutions, NASU, had issued a two-week ultimatum to the federal government to pay its members their four months with health salaries. Of the four university-based unions that embarked on a prolonged strike in 2022, the federal government has paid the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, leaving behind the three other unions. But SANU, in a communique after the 48th National Executive Council NEC meeting held in University of Benin, a Edo State, last weekend, threatened to withdraw its services at the end of the two weeks ultimatum if the government failed to pay the four months with health salaries at the end of the ultimatum tomorrow. Sanu, in the communique signed by its president, Comrade Mohamed Ibrahim, expressed dismay over what it described as unprecedented level of government's insensitivity and deliberate resolve to cause chaos in the university by adopting a divide and rule policy. Leadership of the Joint Action Committee of Sanu and Nasu will be meeting on Thursday this week to review the situation and also take decisions that will further culminate the expiration of the two weeks that we had given to government. Recall that uh, we wrote a letter to the Minister of Education and also the Minister of Labor intimating them of our desire to resume our suspended strike, which we, uh, we suspended because of the promises made by the Federal Government of Nigeria to pay the four months with health salaries. This we have not seen, and there is nothing convincing before us so far to show that efforts are being made. Even the House of Representatives Committee that you know, came in to, to, to discuss with us and passing a resolution on the floor of the House of Representatives directing the, uh, the President and the Minister of Finance to see to it that these payments are made. Nothing has been done so far. So obviously, what we have realized is that there is insincerity on the part of government and there is a serious neglect of the feelings and the welfare of workers in our Nigerian universities. And this clearly translates into poor conditions of service and also it affects the performance or job performance of our workers. And I do not understand why people will continue to be patient when they have been pushed to the wall. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.